Chuck Howard called. And, you know, Chuck and I worked together on all the Capital Days records and a few I things thought since, so. you know. Chuck, right. He says, I love Chuck. And, and, and in recent years, Chuck has been making these inspirational faith-based films. Oh, I didn't pr- know that. Produced him and just doing some really cool work. And he'd been wanting to find something I could be a part of. He said, man, I, I, got, I got the movie. It's called Beautifully Broken. Oh, he said, man. I sent you a rough cut of the film. Take a look at it. See what you think. He said, I'll get to the office tomorrow. I'll send you the song title track, Beautifully Broken. I want you to hear it and if you'd like to be a part of this. So my wife was watching this thing on TV she likes to watch, and I got the email from Chuck. I said, I'm going to go in here to the laptop and watch this. So about 75 minutes later, 80 minutes later, I come walking out carrying the laptop with tears streaming down my face. She wow. said, what's wrong? And I looked at wow. this point to the screen. She said, you better call Chuck. I called Chuck. I said, don't care what the song is. If you think I can sing it and it would encourage people to see this film, I'm in. Wow. And the film's a true story. It takes place in the uh, mid-'90s uh, when I was busy having hits and babies <sighs> and had no idea that on the other side of the world there was a genocide taking place mm. where what? thousands in, in Rwanda, Africa. Oh, man. It's just it's horrific. So we went to wow. Rwanda, Africa. What was that like? It was Unbelievable. And the first thing that we did when we got there is they took us to the Rwanda Genocide Museum and Memorial to go see what it was all about. Man. And to see what those people, what their history is and what they face before we ever got to meet anybody. Mm. Just go see. And it was horrifyingly heartbreaking. And... um, just really broke my heart. Just broke. And then at the end, where you walk out, it, when it's all over, you walk out this beautiful garden area, and there's three pieces of concrete, these slab areas, each mm-hmm. one about the size of a tennis mm-hmm. court. And there's flowers all around and beautiful plants. Mm-hmm. And there's a quarter of a million people buried there. A quarter of a million people? Right there. They just, they, they have no place to put them. There's these mass graves and a quarter of a million people. And I got to meet. Two of the families, uh, a family from Rwanda and a family from Nashville, two of the principals mm. oh, wow. that live in Nashville now. And they have a mission called Legacy Mission Village here in the Nashville area. And uh, the work they do with refugees to help them get acclimated, to become part of the society, oh. to, to get work, to all the things, it's just quite remarkable. Oh, that's amazing. It's dear people. Wow. But, uh, but it was so cool to sing this song. The song's remarkable, and Jenny Slate Lee wrote the song. She lives in Gallatin, where really? I live. But it really was a real treat. It was a treat to be a part of that film and to go to some of the, uh, the screenings around the country mm-hmm. and be there and to, to watch mm-hmm. people's reactions to that film. It was pretty It's pretty just remarkable. inconceivable. I, I yeah. can't even... Just the whole yeah. idea of genocide is... Yeah, just because this one group didn't like the other group. Right. Basically, it was all it right. down to. Us and them. Yeah. Can we hear that song anywhere other than the movie? If people want to hear that song, oh sure, yeah, we do it in our shows. As a matter of fact, but um, but it it certainly is available at iTunes and oh and, great, uh, it's actually on our new CD as well on Thomas Road. 